Short sale information. Avoid the charge off if you can. Hey, looking for short sale information? Mike Wrigley, certified default advocate, distressed property expert, and your short sale specialist here. Thanks for joining, joining us for another edition of our video blog. Hey, so today, let's talk about when the second lien holder charges off your debt. Now, many folks are not aware that a frequent practice among second lien holders is to charge off your debt after four to six missed payments. What exactly is a charge off, you ask? Great questions. Lenders don't like to carry non-performing debt on their books. One way to avoid that is to charge it off their books and turn it over to the debt collector or the collections department or, like I said, sell it to a debt collector. Now, why does this matter? If you are in the middle of a short sale, the charge-off could affect the outcome in a number of ways. None of them are good. Once in collections, the collection agency will typically require a higher payoff as a condition to agreeing to the short sale. Remember, lenders, investors, banks, they don't have to agree to the short sale. Now, while this can frequently be negotiated, it's, there's no guarantee. So, if you are in a short sale, or if you're in a half a short sale, you also run the risk of the collection agency or collections department not participating in half a, therefore putting your relocation assistant at risk. Now, we'll never tell you to make a payment or not make a payment. That's totally your decision on your personal circumstances. What we will do is give you the pros and cons so you can make your own decisions. Remember, we work for you, not vice versa. All in all, if you can avoid the charge off, it's probably for the best uh, for your short sale. Now, is a short sale right for you? Hey, you know what? Give me a call and let's find out. And to get a better idea of when your home will be worth what you owe, log on to www.shortsaleandloanmod.info. The information's free. Give me a call. We'll talk about your particular situation. I'd love to hear from you. You'll call me tonight. You'll sleep better today. And I'll look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.